Hey guys, today I want to continue the two-year follow-up reviews of HEMA gear that I've owned and been using over the past two years. I want to continue the series with the Winter Tree Crafts Brigandine Gorget. This is a gorget that I purchased very early on into my HEMA career, and I have a review that I did about two or three years ago when I first purchased it. It is a somewhat historically inspired gorget, however also somewhat anachronistic, because we haven't found any brigandine gorgets of this type, so looks historical but really isn't that historical at all. It is a leather outer shell with steel plates on the inside, and I go in a bit more into depth as to how this is constructed in my original video. Um, I'm going to go over some modifications that I made to it and show you the kind of corrosion and wear that it has taken uh, over the past two or three years. Uh, I'll note that I did not take very good care of this gorget. I didn't oil the metal, I didn't oil the leather, I have not regularly cleaned it. I think I've cleaned it maybe once or twice in the past two or three years, so the wear and tear that this thing has taken is pretty considerable. However, as a gorget, it is still completely functional. Uh, nothing has come apart, nothing has torn or broken, everything is still in place, and is still a fully functioning gorget. So, let's take a look at the outside first. Um, on the outside, you'll notice that the leather has basically absorbed a ton of sweat and discolored because of that. Again, there's no functional uh, impairment from that. The leather is still perfectly fine, and I'm probably going to treat it after this video because it is it deserves it. This gorget deserves some 10 to 11 care. You'll also notice that the rivets on the outside have started to experience some corrosion. But once again, they are held in place very well, and nothing, none of the plates are loose. Uh, everything on this gorget still feels completely functional. The, uh, the brass buckles, I'm trying to get those on camera, have taken just a little bit of corrosion, but they're one of the cleanest uh, parts of this gorget still. They're still in fairly excellent condition. Apologies for the lighting again, doing my best. Um, the inside of the gorget is where we're going to see a lot of wear and a lot of rust to the steel plates. And yet again, I can tell you that nothing has impeded this gorget's function. It still protects my neck excellently. Uh, I've taken very hard thrusts directly to the neck, and this gorget has stopped it without leaving a mark or anything. Um, the only thing that you'll see that it does is leave sort of a brown residue on whatever uh, rash guard or jacket that I'm wearing uh, under the gorget. And that is partially from the leather, I think, and also partially from the rust on the inside plates, which we'll take a look at now. So this is the uh, front of the neck plate, and you can see that the black paint that was put over the steel has started to come apart in places, and wherever that paint has come off, we're starting to see rust. And I have basically scrubbed the rust a few times just to keep it down a bit. Um, but for the most part, it's not hindering the function of the gorget, and I can easily do a much better cleaning job and repaint the steel to get it pretty much as new. Um, because it hasn't impeded the function of the gorget though, and I'm lazy, it remains kind of rusty. Uh, you'll notice that I put pads on the edges of the plates here. Uh, when I was wearing this under a jacket, I noticed that the plates had a tendency to sort of dig into my skin a bit uncomfortably. So I have some adhesive foam from building Stormtrooper armor and helmets, and I use some of that leftover foam just to go over the edges, the outside edge of the front and the back plates, as you can see here. And that was a great improvement. If you buy one of these, I would highly recommend doing that. It makes the gorget much more comfortable to wear. It prevents the plates from digging in to your rash guard or your skin. Um, just a nice little modification that I definitely recommend for this gorget, which can be done fairly cheap. That is almost, that's basically almost it. Um, just to say that this gorget has held up really well over the past two years, continues to protect my neck, it is still one of the one of my favorite gorgets that I've worn, and I've worn uh, the other offering from Winter uh, Winter Tree Crafts, the the smaller gorget of theirs. I've worn that guy gorget. I've uh, I actually just picked up the new uh, the new Leon Paul gorget, 
which I'm not going to go into too much detail because I'll be doing a review of this in the near future. Uh, this is a really cool gorget, don't get me wrong, um, but I, I'm just so used to this one that I still prefer it. Uh, I've only won this one a few times, so I'm, you know, I need to break it in, get more used to it to really give it a, a good review of how I feel about it. Uh, initial impressions, it is cool, and I think it is very well designed, uh, but I have some, some minor nagles, which I'll, I'll talk about in another video. Um, but yeah, suffice it to say, this is still remains one of my favorite gorgets, uh, and it has held up excellently over the past two to three years, despite some cosmetic issues with rust and corrosion, which are my fault, because if you keep on this and clean rust when you see it, apply oil to prevent rust, um, take treat the leather to make sure that that stays nice, um, this thing will last you even longer. And mine is in no way coming apart. The, the threading is still completely solid. Um, I'll put it on here for a second just so you can see the, uh, the coverage again, just to show you that everything is still working. And hopefully I don't catch my beard in the gorget. No, good, perfect. I was uh, testing putting on this gorget before this video, and I painfully caught my beard in it, but this time I've managed to avoid that. Usually that kind of accent is exactly what happens on film. So, as you can see, it protects my throat. I have to lift up the beard here. Uh, protects my throat very well, especially when this is under a jacket, um, and in combination with a helmet, which then has the bib, which comes over here. It also protects a bit of the, uh, the shoulder or, or the, the collarbone here, which is really nice. Um, when you take a, a whack right here, it can, it can smart, for sure. Um, so it's nice having that extra little bit of collar and shoulder protection. And then on the back of the neck, uh, same thing, good coverage. The, uh, the buckles here are still firmly attached, and it's a, it's a nice way to uh, secure the gorget but leave some adjustableness in there because you can uh, add holes if you need to make the gorget larger. Um, you can add holes to make it smaller if you need. Um, I didn't have to add or modify any of the holes in the in the, the straps. Uh, there are settings that fit me perfectly, so I think you did an excellent job. Um, that about sums it up for this video, just to say that this gorget is still going strong. It has taken some cosmetic damage, which is completely my fault. This still remains one of my favorite gorgets. I would highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks again for watching. Please hit subscribe and check out some of these other videos.